is this story true about Prince Damon and Rhaenyra? But before she could get to the heart of her question, the very nervous and guilty Kristen blabs. I was like, oh, I, I did it. it! I did I it! I it. admit I did it. it! You beat me down! I fucking <laughs> I submit! Oh, I'm gonna torture worse than this! I, <laughs> I've been on the front lines! I have true battle experience and I've killed and slayed men, but your piercing eyes oh. have have just oh. devastated oh. me! Oh my gosh, I, I must admit! Oh. I have to come clean! So Daenerys, it's yes. so good that you've made it to this ceremony. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for the invite. Flew in as fast as I could. Oh, well, yeah. Is this thing starting shortly? Yeah, I think everybody's finally here. Right, so cool. I think we can start this right about... Uh -huh. What? Please welcome Lord Corliss of House Valerion, Lord of the Tides, Master of Driftmark, Conqueror of the Stepstones, Slayer of Kragus, the Crab Feeder Drahar, his lady wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, his son and heir, Sir Laenor Valerian, and he is the future King Consort! Okay, everyone, okay, everyone, please, oh, please be seated. Fine. Please be seated. I think we can uh, finally begin this. You guys have an awesome, awesome spread here. When uh, are we going to get into this? I say we get into it now. All right. All right. Council is now in. What? <laughs> All right. Everyone, please welcome House Skywalker, led by Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, son of Anakin Skywalker, sister to Princess Leia Organa, ward of Obi-Wan Kenobi, pupil of Yoda, Destroyer of the first Death Star, Slayer of Darth Vader, the Dark Lord of Sith, Founder of the Jedi Praxium on Yavin 4. He is accompanied by Captain Han Solo and First Mate Chewbacca. Okay, everyone, okay, everyone. Please, please be seated. Please be seated. Oh. All right, Jane Harris, uh, a lot of people here for this uh, ceremony. Yeah, so a special crab buffet over uh, there. We need to dig into this thing. I know, I know. Let's uh, uh, let's go ahead. Harris is getting upset. I know. Hold let's let's go ahead and start right. this right now. What? Please, everyone, welcome House L, represented by Cal L, son of Jor El, the last son of Krypton also known as Superman, the Man of Steel, the Man of Tomorrow, the Metropolis Marvel, Slayer of Zod, one of the founders of the Justice League of America. Okay, okay everyone, please, please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you, thank you for that applause. Whew. Oh, I, man. A lot of people could hear for this, Dana Harris. A lot I of know. people are here for this. I think we are ready to finally start this I thing, okay? Vlog. All right. All right. The council is now in. What? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. Please welcome House Obama, represented by Barack Hussein Obama, husband to Michelle, the former president of the United States the leader of the free world, former senator to the great state of Illinois, favorite son of Hawaii, slayer of Osama bin Laden, author of The Audacity of Hope, author of the, oh, for Pete's sake, can we just get this started? Okay, everyone, okay, everyone. Please, please be seated. Guards, please lock those doors. Lock those doors. Lock them. No more, no more. Standing room only, okay. Uh, man, All right. How many tickets did you guys sell for this thing? <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, well, I think we are finally, finally, finally ready to put. Uh, I'm running out of stuff to read. Council in the session. <laughs> All right. All right, Dane, to start the ceremony, yes. what are we drinking? Ah, uh, we are drinking the Noble Oak. Oh. This is courtesy of the House of JR. I hear it's directly from 
your daughter Mercedes. Mercedes. And Esteban. My son-in-law, oh, Esteban, yes. Thank you very much for this special treat. They sent that to me last week for my birthday. Oh, So well. it's a little birthday treat the for both of, of us. JR bourbon whiskey finished with sherry oak staves, kept in American white oak barrels, and then in the second finish in the Spanish sherry oak. So Double oak. Definitely a yummy one for uh, anyone who wants to enjoy some doubled oak goodness. Well, I tell you what, pour a little spot of that for both of us. And while he's doing that, let me remind everybody that we're about to go into spoilers. So if you have not seen episode five yet, uh, you might want to wait until you do and then come back, join us, and we'll review this episode and talk about it. Mm. Thank you, Mercedes and Esteban. This is the good stuff. I uh, love my daughter and my son-in-law. All right. Let's... Uh, I don't know them, but thank I know. you anyways. Cheers, right? Down the hatch, as they say in Runestone. Very smooth. Mm -hmm. Very smooth. Mm. What, are you, what flavors are you getting there? <laughs> I'm getting there's a little, a little bit butterscotch of... butterscotch in there. There is a little bit of butterscotch in there. But I am getting kind of the woodsy taste on this one. A little bit of spice, a little bit of vanilla. Yeah, it's lower on the alcohol. It's 40, what did I say, 48? 45, 48, I think, 45. right? 45, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, Maker's Mark Limited is 101, so that's yeah. a little bit higher. But, yeah. yeah, but it's tasty. It is. Thank you Thank very Thank you much. so much, Mercedes. Love you. Definitely sippable when you're, when you know. Can't wait to see you for your birthday <laughs> in November. So, all right. <clears throat> so, Dane. Yes. This episode is called We Light the Way. Mm, sounds like an 80s uh, medley group. I was going to say, sounds like what up with people in the <laughs> 70s or something, right? No, it's We Are the World. We Are the World, okay. We Are the World. Uh, we have to do, uh, what's his name? Uh, the blind guy, what's his oh, name? Oh, Stevie. Stevie, Stevie Wonder. He's like, We Are the World. Yeah, yeah. Who and would then, you be in that group if you had your druthers? Mm, I would be... Well, Prince didn't make it for that. Oh. He didn't want to be part of that. So, um, I don't know. I liked uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates yeah, there. Yeah, they were there. I think I'd be of that group. I'd... Hugh Lewis? No, I was thinking. I was going to say the Duran Duran guys. One, oh. Two of them there, Simon yeah. and then uh, John Taylor were yeah. both there. Yeah. But that was such a huge I group. thought she would be more like Diana Ross. Oh, was so. she there? She was there, yeah. No, I want to be the boss. Oh, yeah. We are the world. Oh, then I'll be... We are at that time, Bono was in it, but like people didn't really know who Bono was oh, at yeah, that time. Right. He was like, early. he was early, early in Bono <laughs> in YouTube career. So wait, did we digress? We have digressed. <laughs> We're back to we light the way. Okay. <laughs> we light the way. We light the dragons. <laughs> oh All right. It's a very weird title. So Daenerys, we open up. Uh -huh. We see a attractive young woman out on her horse yes riding in the Atlantic looks like Irish woman. countryside I mean I think or, it was Scotland, Scotland. Oh, yeah. it was beautiful looking wherever it was uh, wherever they filmed that so and she uh, she meets up with uh, a guy who says oh out hunting today rabbits again she goes oh I'm taking down deer this time uh -huh. right he wants to go along and what was her reply? Uh, what, I, I think I'd rather go alone, right? Yes, something like that. That yes. bitch. Lady Rhea. That bronze bitch. Well, right. <laughs> That's her name, right? That's what uh, Prince Damon calls her. Right. The bronze bitch. Have she wasn't. His husband. She wasn't as bronze, bronze as, as I was. I was yeah, she wasn't as bronze as I was thinking. I was almost thinking that was like some kind of weird, like, obviously it was a slur, you know. Yeah. In, in, that, in this world sense or whatever. Yeah. But I was like. She sure looks Irish. <laughs> yeah, she does it. Uh, yeah, I was expecting more like, uh, you know. Uh, like like uh, the, Oberon. Yeah, yeah. People from Dorne. Yeah, exactly. I thought it was going to be more like that, looking, you know, Brazilian, South American. But uh, yeah. maybe you know, her chest plate was kind of a bronze thing. I don't, but I think he was talking more about her skin color, right? I guess. Yeah. I mean, I guess compared to him, everyone's dark. Yeah. That would be like, yeah. all us Targaryens are extremely white, by yeah. the way, if you haven't noticed. So she uh, she's out hunting, mm -hmm. and then suddenly, da-da, da-da, 
you know, there's Phantom Menace. There's a Darth Maul standing at the I know, door. He's got, like the yeah. full on and everything. Yes. Like, yeah. I was expecting to see, you know, uh, you know, uh, Obi Wan and Qui Gon taking off their robes. We'll handle this lady. We'll handle this. <laughs> and like go and go over there and handle, uh, you know, Damon, Yeah. Darth Maul, but Darth it's Damon. it's Damon. He knew exactly where she would be. Conveniently. He must have walked out there for a while, though. That was yeah. the timing was. He must have been sitting out there yeah. for a while. And yeah. Coming. Yeah. Thank God they didn't actually show him up there watching. Yeah, waiting, waiting. waiting. You know. He was yep. waiting for a long she time. I but... think that. Uh... Mm-hmm. They have a. They have a little argument where mm -hmm. she's like, "Oh, are you here to finally consummate the marriage or something <laughs> like that?" So that was interesting. I guess yes. he had never consummated it. And then. You know, she pointed out to him the sheep there are much yeah. prettier than me. Yeah. <laughs> or he pointed that out. Yeah. To me. Yeah. Because uh, no, you know. she said the sheep's would be willing if I'm not. Yeah. Like, the sheep are better looking than you. Yeah. What he said. So he walks up to her, and they just kind of have a little stare off. Then I think she starts thinking, oh, I think he's here to kill me or something, because she starts reaching for her bow, which I'm like. Uh, you'd have to, what are you going to do, hit him with a bow? Because, you know, if you're going to use an arrow, you got to get the bow, you got to notch well, an arrow. he was still pretty far away. He wasn't. He there. was standing right at the no, horses. he kind of walked up. Yeah, he walked up. I mean, that's, I mean, I agree with you. It did seem a little weird. By the time she. I think they did that to yeah. give you, so that he had an indication that, oh, she was going to attack him. Now, I had to rewind this twice because the first time I watched this, I thought, Princess Damon did something to the horse. Prince to Damon. Prince da Princess Damon. <laughs> Prince Damon did something to we the horse. Great hair, yeah. by the way. So yeah. I can see how you'd mess that up. No, I thought he had done something to the horse to make the horse uh, like. Well, I think he did do like a push or no, something like that. Rewound it a couple times. He did nothing. The horse, what happens when she grabs that bow? The horse does that by yeah. himself. She falls off with the horse on top of her. Breaks her back. Her breaks, neck her, or something. breaks her back or her neck. Major noise. Because I don't know if he was there to kill her or not, but I think when he walked up, he saw she couldn't move. He stepped on her arm. Which well, I didn't understand that part. Well, because he wanted to see if she felt pain in the arm. Oh, was that what that was? Yeah. Oh, God. So. Like, woof. Oh, no. Way over my so head. He, it was like dominance. Like, no. Okay, I, she, and, and like she just sat there. She felt no pain. So he knew, oh, crap. Oh. She's, she's paralyzed. You know, from the neck down. Yeah. So she's useless. Right. So I'm going to put her out of her misery. But she can still talk. Yeah. She can be, still be a smart ass. Yeah. Well, I'm going to put her out of her misery because... Well, well no. She called him, remember? She said, yeah. you craven? You can't finish? Right. She was calling him out on his little prior impetus yeah. issues. Yeah. And so then, of course, he picks the rock up and... Slash! We host the, the fish is... is <laughs> you know what that reminded me of? What? Remember our very first video... Uh, movie review was um, Wolf of Snow Hollow. The Wolf of Snow Hollow, and like they they showed like a, a woman, like she's screaming like in there something was about to happen, oh. and then they're like they show like I think like a burger or something. No, you're talking yeah. about when they were eating in the diner. Yes, and they're like yeah. these two are. Why are they showing yeah. like a sausage getting cut? In yeah, half? yeah, I can't I can't like, remember exactly what it was. What weird, it was. weird like setup. It like, was a very weird cut. Is that a premise? This guy's gonna get his schlong shot. Yes, yes, off? yeah. We'll no. we'll show you that. But clip. it was like that again yeah. where they were but, like, and they did that twice in this. But we'll talk about that later. Go ahead. Yeah. So, so yeah. So she's well. You don't know at the time, but you assume she's dead. Yeah. And then later. Well, yeah, because you don't know, I guess, but he's going to get a rock. Maybe he was going to put a, like, make a pillow for you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a rock pillow. Of course, I mean, you get feel it. set this up for you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, we're now to the Red Keep front gate, and it is storming, Dane. It's, and it made you think, like, oh, yeah, would you really want to be outside? I mean, they have a big umbrella for the uh, the queen coming out to talk to her dad. Her dad's standing underneath the portcullis, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, of the Getting of the soaked. wall. And she, she comes out to talk to him, and she's like, uh, Otto. Otto, where are you going? Be back. No, don't leave. Don't leave? He's like, I've got to, princess. I've been ordered. I'm no longer the hand. I know. I've got to show my feet, because I'm not the hand. <laughs> so... Take your butt 
Back in. <laughs> there was that was a kind of you know. Did you notice the guy holding the horse? By the way, there was a knight there. No. And if you looked at his face, he like he's standing there, and he can hear all of this, but he's like, you know, earmuffs, la 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 la, la. like I'm not listening. Private he's conversation. There, like you know, yeah. you can hear everything. She's like, I don't want you to leave. Yeah. Uh, and she 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 like gets mad at him. She's like, if you hadn't pushed my son as the heir so hard, this probably wouldn't have happened. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? And he's and he basically says he grabs her. If you don't, if you don't go against Renera now, yeah. get ready because later it's going to be much. They're going to come to kill you. Yeah, and that's and and your son too, and your dog too, little girl, uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh, <laughs> you know, and your dog too. And your doggy too. But um, so. Um, so no, I mean, so he's saying you better get ready because that that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Right. And so Either he, you prepare Aegon to rule, or you cleave to Rhaenyra and pray for her mercy. Mm-hmm. So he gets up on his steed and rides off into the pouring rain. Yes. So back to the pouring rain, <laughs> uh, we had seen uh, the king and. His court on a boat in the rain in a stormy. He he obviously doesn't have Dramamine because he can't he can't handle those waves very well. No, he can't seem not. to handle anything very Although well. Although I love the way they bring around the royal bus yeah. bucket yeah. for him, and he's like, no, no, let me go over there. And he goes over to the side of the boat. Yeah. Yeah. So they finally get to uh, high tide. Mm-hmm. Get to the courtyard. Lots going on at high tide. The new uh, uh, hand of the king, which is what's his name? Isn't it L- Lionel? Linus or Lionel? I think it's Lionel. 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 Uh, he says, "What? Where's Sir Corliss? It's Leroy it, Strong. That's it. Leroy. Name. Okay. Yeah. Leroy. He's like it's an insult." For Corliss not to be here and meet the king. Nobody's here. Why am I not being greeted properly? And uh, his son says, well, he's he's indisposed at the moment. Yes. He's on the royal loo. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's... He ate a little bit too much shrimp. He's doing some last minute vacuuming. Butter and white wine sauce. Yes. He's, uh, <laughs> he's uh, let's say, clearing his bowels. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what... That was a funny scene. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, the king has traveled all the way there yeah. for, like, no greeters. Yeah. I'd be pissed. Yeah. And meanwhile, the two boys are playing with wooden swords in the front courtyard, like, waiting. Oh, here you are. Wasn't that Lainor and the... Or was it younger kids? No, it was Lainor. Lainor yeah. and uh, Joffrey? Joffrey. And then... His uh, buddy? What, what was funny is finally you hear the door open. And then you cut to the king, and then boom! The people are already down all those stairs, you know what I mean? I was like, good thing the king is not in a wheelchair. They didn't really have handicap <laughs> access back then, too. He would have had his royal retinue yeah. carry him down. Yeah. Carry me up my, your back all the way up those he stairs. He had Sir Lionel carry him all the way yeah. down. <laughs> Lionel bend over yeah. and up there. Yeah. So we're now inside uh, the throne room, and I thought it was kind of cool when they were Walking through the hallways, you could see all these these art, sculptures, right. and paintings on the wall, tapestries. A lot of ocean. Ocean related. Related things. Yeah. And, 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 and in fact, Viserys even says, whenever I come here, I'm actually more impressed with your place than I am of uh, yeah. uh, my my Iron Throne. Yeah. Somebody needs to help with, they need an interior decorator. They at, do, uh, man. Where are King's they in Landing? these days? I don't know. Yeah. He's got so many cool things. You know, uh, up on... Oh, thanks. You need a splash? I do. From House Gerarish? So, Gerarish. when they get into the uh, uh, the throne room, first of all, this mm-hmm. is when uh, Viserys uh, informs the king that Prince Damon's wife has died. I don't think the king had known that since he had been out at sea. Mm-hmm. So, he informs him, and he says, well, let's get to more pleasant things, okay? Yeah. He goes, what I'm here to propose... He goes, what are you here to propose? Mm. So what does King Viserys propose, Dane? Neris. <laughs> Dane Eris. Uh, he proposes that my daughter Renera and your son Lenor finally get together from a perfect marriage standpoint. Our two houses merge. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks, King, for that nice offer. But 
What's the succession plan? Tell me, tell me the on. succession I a, plan. I need to have a little second. Where's the details? On? Yeah. Give What's, me the details. Give me the fine of print of this marriage. So he basically says that, okay, you can keep your name for, you know, for up to the point where when they ascend the throne, it turns into Tigarian again. Yeah. And so that was the compromise. And my, my daughter will rule. Your yes. son will be king in name. And right. the king. But his last name will be Tiger. But the successor to my daughter will be their first born, whether it be male or female. Which is interesting to say that. Yeah, that's true. Right? I didn't catch that particular detail. Oh yeah. But so he says he goes, whether it's male or female, mm -hmm. that first heir is gonna be the heir to the throne. Yeah. So Better put that down in a uh, royal uh, decree I and say that better be written in some uh, and get some, that out to the everybody in the kingdom. What do so they, they call know. that? Some uh, skin, uh, you know, parchment, parchment paper. I don't think they have, <coughs> did they have show paper in this. Yeah, yeah. Do they have paper? Okay. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be more like leather, like you know. I, actually, they have then. they have uh, electronic tablets. Did they have that? Yeah. Oh, cool. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, in the Targaryens had all these iPads and everything. This is awesome. He, he's like, King, put that in writing. He's like, Do you have a USB charger around? I, my, what's your email? What's, you know, what's we your Instagram? We didn't have a charger on the boat, <laughs> right? So we gotta. I want Coralis's Twitter account. Yeah. There probably is one out there. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, after they accept the proposal, uh, we go outside and see, mm -hmm. you know, a walk in the clouds with uh, <laughs> Rhaenyra and Elaenor yep. talking. Now, they've grown up together, so they know each right, other. Right, they know each other, they're buddies, you know, even though they know they're... And they're somewhat related, right? Aren't they, like, really distant cousins? I mean, because they're all from the house. They're distant Rhaena. cousins, yeah, yeah, because, I mean... He's house full her, her dad... Sister, is that girl's uh, is Lenor's mom? Is so R R uh, what's her name? Rhaenyras mm -hmm. is not Rhaenyra. Rhaenyras is yeah. Rhaenyras is her cousin, aunt. Though. I think it's a, Isn't it? I think it's the cousin of him. I thought I thought Viserys and Rhaenyras were brother sister. That one, uh, yeah, I'm not hundred. Maybe the reason I think they're cousins. Not I don't correctly. know. You know what, Game of Thrones fans. Where was that book? We don't have the book. I Where's had to return it to the library. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the library at King's Landing required me to bring the book back. They came calling. And if you don't return, they... But it's about this thick. Yeah. We didn't, we didn't read the book. So if you're a book reader and we made a mistake in the relationship, uh, let us know. Yeah. Um, if, what the relationship is between <laughs> Rhaenyras and... Uh, Viserys. And Viserys. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, the, the you know, they're so having... They know little, each other. No, they know each other. They're buddies. And they, she goes out there and she's like, hey, you know, I like potato. You like tomato. You know, let's call the whole thing off. And she basically, they... She goes, we'll do, our, we'll do our royal duties. Yeah. We'll attend events. We'll make heirs. But in the meantime, you can We're gonna have, have carte blanche. We're going to have side hustles. Yeah. You carte blanche on uh, Side hustle. on the down low, and um, you know she doesn't know about Joffrey. He doesn't know about Kristen, but but that brought a smile to him because he's like, you know what? I can rock that. Sounds I can, like a good plan. I can rock that agreement. So. I'll buy that for a dollar. Yeah. And, so uh, yeah. So uh, then then later on you see uh, Joffrey, his. Uh, his buddy. buddy, his buddy, and his uh, well, let's be honest, his lover. Yes, talking Lane about or it, or hanging out at the beach, talking and about this. He's like, "Hey, Joffrey's like, hey, this is this is an awesome deal. I know you get you get to be king, you get to throw the greatest of parties and feasts. I get to be there." He goes, "You know what, what could go wrong? What could go wrong with this?" <laughs> so um, let me get my eyes checked, though. Before so we're back to the Red Keep. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, the king and and his party have returned uh, to the Red Keep, and he's not feeling very. Good. He's not feeling very well. He needs to go take a leech bath. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> but what's uh, what's leeches. interested? What's interesting about this? Allison calls for King Kristen, uh, or King Kristen, uh, Sir Kristen, Sir Kristen. Uh, Kristen Cole. Kristen Cole. And she wants to talk to him because she wants to ask or tell him 
or ask if it is true, because what she had heard from her father was that a concoction was sent, a tea, a morning after tea, mm -hmm. by the king to uh, Rhaenyra because she really did have a relationship. I love the way that they just say a tea and everyone yeah. knows what they're talking yeah. about. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, she got a tea? Yeah. She's pregnant? Or yeah. She might be? So, um, so she, he, she, uh, she calls in. She confronts him. Basically. Kristen, she wants, yeah. she wants to know, is this story true about Prince Damon and Rhaenyra? But before she could get to the heart of her question, the very nervous and guilty Kristen blabs. Like, oh, I did it. I did it. I admit, I admit, I admit it. it. You beat me down. I, give, I submit. Oh, I'm a torture worse than this. I, <laughs> I've been on the front lines. I have true battle experience and I've killed and slayed men, but your piercing eyes oh. have, have just oh. devastated oh. me. Oh my gosh. My I must admit. Oh. I have to come clean. Oh. Your, 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 your torture devices are just so immense <laughs> i was like oh my gosh you know he gave in so easily he's like oh you know one of the things that i've learned in 20 years of it sales yeah is when you go and you talk to a client <laughs> and they start to tell you something you shut up until you learn everything they have to tell you you don't open your mouth you don't say oh well i'm sorry is that too high we can discount because they might not even be going at the price yes. they, they, so you shut up you listen and when they're all done then you can assess what you need to say mm. but this guy is so naive that he just blurts that out and we, you got to listen to grand maester jr over yes. here he's got the He's got the skills. No. The mad skills. Yes. Sometimes I mentor young out of college kids yeah. for sales. And I'll They're, get on. In conf other words, Padawans. Yes. I'll get on conference calls with them and they will just, what they call is they show up and throw up. They just start talking, talking, talking. I'm like, dude, in sales, you got two ears and one mouth. You got two so ways to do you, you listen twice as much as you talk. You, you just shut up and you let the customer yeah. do the talking. But anyways. Well, obviously, I guess in this particular scenario, I'm Kristen and you're Allison. Yes. Because I'd be like, oh, yes. oh, you beat me down. <laughs> I have to reveal I'm the one who did it. She's like, oh, well, that's not where I was going. I know. But this is very interesting. Although I would so have thought you've had been okay with that whole thing. It's like, okay, it's not Damon. And he's like, oh, nice. Prince uh, or Queen, please don't castrate me. If you want to castrate me, <laughs> castrate me. Anything. Well, but if you just give me a clean, easy death, yeah. that's what all right. I pray for. I don't want to be gelded. Yes, I don't want to be gelded. <laughs> yes. Look at him. Put his uh, balls in a... I don't want to be in a lineup. Snap him right off. I don't want to be in a lineup and the king go, he's a eunuch. He's a eunuch! He's a eunuch. He is a eunuch. He's dead. <laughs> He's not a eunuch. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. Yes. So, um, um, so she takes that information. Uh -huh. She's like, oh. Very interesting. And okay. And uh, exploring outside of the uh, jungle fence. She has uh, unlocked that chastity belt. Okay. <laughs> so uh, you have to code. So we are now to the arrival of yes. guests to the Iron th Throne Room for the ceremony. Mm -hmm. And this is where we kind of made fun of it uh, earlier, but uh, they were kind of starting the party a little bit, and then boom, print or a uh, uh, Corliss and his guests come in, so they announce him, right? right? Oh. So now now they, they think they're about to start, and they're seated, right. and then boom, everybody's quiet, because Prince Damon shows up right. uninvited. And is like, what? He's Wait like, a minute. He, he's like, put another seat at the table. I love the way Damon, you notice that Damon, by the way, shows up all the time by himself everywhere? Yes. Like, yeah. He has no buddies? He has no yeah. retinue? Where's his entourage? At least he should have, like, one guard with I know. him at he all times. Nobody with him. And yeah. I, I'm, I don't know if the books were written that way, but right. they're making it very blatantly obvious in the in the shows yeah. that he's like he's never with anybody. Like yeah. he's got no friends. Yeah. What's so, up, Damon? So he's, he shows up uninvited. So King's like, uh, 
Put out an extra chair for him, you know. Uh, I know. You know, in At Brazil. The table. <laughs> well, you know, in Brazil, when you have an uninvited guest, you know what the saying is? Put no. some extra water on the beans. <laughs> so put what some extra it, water on the like beans. Make them expand more or yeah. something so they're a little well, thicker? Well, it makes it a little bit thicker, right? Yeah. So you can <laughs> serve a little bit more, maybe. You know? It was funny, though, that they were like, yeah. looks like he's like, put a chair over there. Yeah. Like, but then, wait, no! There's another guest, Dane. Well, like he starts talking. To yeah, somebody, he, right? he starts going through his speech, and then boom, we've got another guest. Uh, it's the queen. It's not a guest, but it's her. She's well, finally shown up. They talked about her. Like, yeah. where's the queen? What yeah. is going on? And it's interesting as she comes in wearing her green dress. Mm -hmm. What were the two brothers there? The clubfoot guy oh, and the other guy? Harwin and is it Ly Leroy? Miss L Cookie Monster. Yeah, He's Lionel. Lionel is his dad. Okay. So it's I Harwin. thought that was Leroy was his dad. No, Lionel is his dad. I'm, okay. Uh, the, I can't remember what his... Go ahead, keep talking. No, they're both like, look at that. She's wearing green. Mm -hmm. When... Uh, in uh well, in the high in the the king or the lands of the, the high tower, tower when they light the watch the watch torches or when there's uh alert, war, yeah, yeah to alert you to go to war what what color do the, do they light it and he says they green green right yeah so, and actually you know just to point this out a little bit here because I'm because we didn't read the books right but what's being plainly shown here now is that the clubfoot is obviously a player. Oh, very observant of yeah. things. He's the one who like knows all these details about certain things. He showed up previously in the Weirwood yeah. courtyard, and he's putting, he's whispering little sweet nothings in Allison's ear. Right. And I like, maybe she's naive, but if I had been there, the queen, and she and I, I would have known exact. I would have seen through this guy immediately. No. I would have said, "You don't think he's an honest player, like no, his dad? No, no, no. I mean, I know because he's, uh, he's trying to manipulate her." Yeah. To to whatever they want, right? Right, right. I would have uh, I would have gone to my guard and say His go, other foot needs to be beaten. <laughs> go go run a sword through this guy. Really? Yeah. I well, would've. but you you couldn't do that. I mean he's in a noble house. If he does but what he's doing is he's being a player in the sense that he he knows he's weak. Yeah. And and and, and as a result, no one's gonna attack to tell you the truth, no one's gonna attack him because oh. that's from an honor standpoint, yeah. you do not go after weaker opponents. Because yeah. it looks because then your honor is spoiled. So nobody should have gone off uh, after uh Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister well, that's true. That's why he's survived for so long. Yeah, but you only know. the the people with no honor go after him. That's mm -hmm. a, but that's his game. He mm -hmm. played that game so well because yeah. he knew as long as I never go full on like insult or attack, yeah. no one's going to go after me because it makes him. You know, you're going after the guy with with glasses. Right. You know, you, know. you wouldn't punch a guy with glasses, would right. you? Right. Or, or <laughs> yeah. Or, well, I would not kill him though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so anyways, uh, so sh she enters, gives the king a little kiss on the cheek, and then he goes into his his speech, right? Full speech. So uh, now right after the speech, um, remember the, uh, I can't think of her name, just I know she sure. goes by the bronze bitch. Rhea. Rhea, her uncle, or her cousin, it's a cousin. I it's it's a cousin. It's a cousin I, he a, says he says I'm her cousin. Yeah. So he's he walks Jeffrey, up. Jeffrey or Joffrey, I think is his name. No, no, Joffrey is the gay lover to Lenor. Uh, no, it's Sir Gerald. It's Sir That's Gerald. Yeah. So Gerald, Gerald Ford uh, walks up to <laughs> Sir Gerald Ford. What? He stumbles in. He's like, oh, sorry, dude. Sir Gerald Ford. Yeah, <laughs> falls down the stairs. He. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he goes up and falls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chevy Chase uh, playing Gerald Ford would always fall. Remember? So, uh, so uh, Gerald goes up and talks to the king, and he's like, "You know, I I can't believe that you're you let your brother in here. You know, I I believe he killed." You know, my my, my cousin or whatever. Cousin. And oh yeah, my cousin. And he yeah. and Prince Damon goes, "No, actually, I did not." I, I feel yeah. very sad about this. I heard about this. Such a tragic. It's aspect. very tragic. But you know, I'll be I'll be dropping by with the paperwork on my uh, inheritance. And the guy's like, "What?" 
He goes, oh yeah, we have no heirs. So she was about to inherit Runestone. So now that makes me the rightful lawful owner of Runestone. See you in court, buddy, next week. And then the guy's like, oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, I didn't think about that. Which I, it amazes me that no one thought about that from the standpoint of, you know, inheritances yeah. are all written out and there's a bunch of legalese and everything. Yeah. It's like, really? The guy didn't even think that. Yeah. Uh, wait. <laughs> so after this uh, Lanor exchange, this exchange, Lanor comes up to uh, Prince Rhaenyra and says, nobody puts baby in a corner. And uh, grabs you by the hand and says, let's show these let's people how to get down. How to get down yeah. and drop some beats. Do the hustle. <laughs> so, so they must have practiced this or this is like a traditional dance everybody's taught. I don't know. But yeah, well, to your point about that, I mean, you they, they set it up because they knew each other. Right. So as young kids, they were probably practicing all the time. Because, mm -hmm. you know, as royals. We never, we have nothing I was, to do except dance and eat. I was waiting for the lift, though, and I didn't, I didn't get <laughs> that. That would have been, if they had done that, oh my God, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> the lift. Oh, ready? Let's do the lift. Uh, <laughs> that would have been so funny. <laughs> yeah. So now while this dancing, so they get the first dance, and then everybody gets on the floor. Everyone's like, starts, woo, let's starts do this. Starts dancing, right? I got to shake some booty. While the dancing's going on, Joffrey who is Lenor's buddy, he, he's watching Kristen Cole, mm -hmm. and he's watching how he eyes Rhaenyra's, and right. he's like... And when he's gonna use, there's a lot of that C word being thrown around in this particular episode, yeah. which we but might be saying. But. He, he knows that Rhaenyra's and him have something going on. He goes, oh, I have figured out who the, the my compatriot is, right? I, I'm... My counterpart. I'm the side chick yeah. to uh, Lenor, and he's the, she's going to be the side chick to Kristen. So, okay. Right. Uh, Joffrey goes over to speak to Kristen. And, Dane, this, this could probably be one of the worst mistakes he's ever made his entire <laughs> life. <laughs> really? I it mean, is the worst mistake. It is the worst. What, what, what could be worse than this? I mean, and he, does, he has no idea who he's talking to. I know. I mean, I, it, they didn't even set it up. He wasn't even drunk or anything, which would have made more sense. Right. But it was like, you don't even know the guy. You go over there and you're like, hello. Yes. We are both the side hustles. I know your secret. Now I'm going to tell you my secret. Uh -huh. And so... Uh, and so he, you know, he, he talks to Kristen. And Kristen's like, uh, you can tell he's, he, Kristen says nothing, yeah. nothing. Right. And like, you can just tell he's upset. Mm -hmm. So Joffrey walks off and you can see Kristen is formulating some ideas, maybe some plans A in his head. A little bit of rumination. Yes. And, um, so they go back up. Show the king. He's once again, man. He's tearing apart a lobster or something. And you know, like, he you needs. Know, it's funny. They keep showing him like chowing, yeah, chowing things. He's like chewing, and then Allison's like, "Oh my god, what a pig!" He needs. I mean, he needs to take an Emily Post class. Did because, you notice, by the way, this? Yeah, he that he has a glove on the entire time. Yeah, and then I kept looking to see did they make a mistake, but he no. must have had his fingers down like this with two fake, you know, whatever, yeah. because. There was a scene earlier where his cousin comes in and shakes his hand. Yeah, and, he, like, oh, and he's are like, are you okay? Yeah, he's like, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's like totally like, mm. I'm surprised he's not like yeah. chomping down. Eating that neck bone. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Eating the neck bone. <laughs> so suddenly. The, and everyone in his family is yeah. looking at him or yeah. something. Where yeah. I heard that before, by the uh, way. <laughs> but suddenly, what was weird King's was. prerogative. What, what was weird was. There's like a like a, a sound going on in the in the crowd and people start screaming and there's a big kind of melee. Suddenly this dance is turned into a mosh pit. Just boom, people going stuff. But let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Did you hear like kind of like a growl or a roar like a lion in this? I, I did for a second think. Yes. That like, is there an animal down it, there? Did that's what I thought big? too. I mean, like you heard something. And I don't know if that was thrown in post-edit or was it, it supposed to be Kristen's like, Rawr! 
I think it was to manipulate the crowd, to like or manipulate the audience okay. to not know exactly for a second what is going on. Yeah, that could But be there's cool. like a roar, like it, we, and we can try to play it, but there's like a roar. And then like you see this mosh pit. Right, and, and Rhaenyra is in there. Yeah, she gets thrown over to the side. Uh, well, she she's gets... going to push everyone around, and I think in her face, I know, you you thought that um, you you when you saw her, I think she realized like, wait a minute, I don't have any power in a mosh pit. <laughs> she like gets thrown. She's like, oh, wait a minute, uh, what am I doing here? Yeah. And Lainor gets like thrown. He on the gets table. thrown, and then you finally see what's going on, mm -hmm. and it's Kristoff. Kristen. Kristoff. I always say Kristoff. I don't know why. Kristen. Pounding the crap out of Joffrey. Yep. Bow, bow. Well, they had an equal bow. fight for a second. Yeah. Oh, then, and then you even see like he pulls a knife. Joffrey out. He even pulls out the knife, but he's like, Kristen, like that's not gonna break me down. That's right. You need a hundred and thirty pound queen to break me down. <laughs> I know. A knife like, twisted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it maybe like even broke his arm or yeah. Because then it breaks it and he's like, Rah! yeah. And then he's like, you know, goes full. Yeah. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Full uh, MMA fighter. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. plus he's wearing armor on yeah. top of a guy who's not, and he's yeah. already got like what his armor is like 80 pounds. Yeah. Right, in some ways, and so. Oh, he. It was totally. Uneven. Joffrey had no chance when he was on the bottom there. No. So. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. wasn't good wasn't good to be on the bottom at that <laughs> point. <laughs> he was done with being on the bottom. Yes. His last time. Alright. So Kristen just kills him, basically. And everybody's was, screaming. Oh, I know. And he gets off and he he uh he moves off to the um uh, the are uh, out of the shot, and then you see the hand the new hand of the king. Like nod no, to no 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 that no 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 you're you're cutting a little bit there, so and actually that that was a really good point but but the what was happening is the fight was going on and then the king goes where's Renera yeah and the fight's going on and so then Lee uh, Lionel looks over at his Sir Harwin and yeah. son and he says just he's like get in there so, <laughs> so he goes in there and he's like boom yeah boom whoosh, throwing people around and then he, he picks is, her up he picks her up he's, he's like, like stop put me away you brute. Suddenly, he slings her over the shoulder like he's King Kong. She's Fey Ray. He goes walking off. You know what I mean? And suddenly, it's exit stage left for Nerys, right? Yeah, Rhaenyra, she, yeah. She's gone. She's uh, gone. And um, so... Uh, and then we see the face. Rhaenyra, yes. Of uh, Joffrey. Oh. Is like, ooh, missing an eye. I mean, that was most... Oh, brutal. yeah. You know what it reminded me of is like that scene in Saving Private Ryan when... When Tom Hanks is talking to his, his communications officer and he's like, send, send word, we need help, we need help, okay? And then he like goes off screen. Then when he comes back and he goes, oh, the guy's face is missing. Do you remember? Oh, no, I don't remember that. I was uh, thinking it was going back to the to the mountain and Oberlin. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that, that scene with the yeah. eyeballs and the Yeah, thing. and he was, squeezes it with his bare hands. Ugh. Yeah. Either way, it wasn't a it very, was very pleasant death for Sir Joffrey. So, no. so, so it, uh, the chaos. It's a good thing he did die because, man, he he would have been severely handicapped with uh, half his eye. I mean, his entire yeah. eye socket was ripped. Out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Another thing was uh, that kind of reminded me of was Negan with a baseball oh, bat. Oh yeah. Glenn, right. Poof, poof. We'll yeah. show that. No, we won't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's gruesome. Oh, so our final scene to this episode, Dane, uh -huh. it's out in the courtyard, and you see Kristen taking off his armor. Yes. And he's pulling out his dagger. He's about to commit seppuku. Yes. He's about to. <laughs> And he's right about to do it. And I, I kept saying, are they going to do this or is I going to save them? Mm -hmm. And sure enough, you hear, Kristen, Sir Kristen. Right. And it's the queen. Yep. She saves him. She goes, stop. And she stops him. Now, they didn't say why she stopped him. I'm interested to see why, what's going to be the reasoning well, in the f next right. few weeks of why she stopped she's him. She's all of a sudden asserting herself and she's being smart in the sense that I need allies. Yeah, she sees him as an ally because he's against Rhaenyra. So, but let, but isn't he gonna be like a vagabond here? Isn't he gonna be 
on the run because now the he, queen saves his ass. He just killed uh, Lenor's. Lenor, her. No, it's lover. Was, yeah, but so what? I mean, it's the queen. Yeah. That's what I, you know, she she's going to protect But Corliss, him. well, maybe Corliss won't be that mad. He won't, because now his son doesn't have a uh, yeah. a uh, side hustle. Or a, so uh, I didn't think that through until just right now. Yeah, so, I mean. Because I was like, Corliss is going to be, wait. He and his wife were like, he was, he were there saying, well, maybe he'll just grow out of this. Right. He's like, oh, you took care of whatever I needed to worry about. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, thank you. We were going to just send him off to a camp, but, thank you know. Thank you, Kristen. But, uh, yeah. To a camp. <laughs> <laughs> but, to the know. they them camp. Yeah, the that's a great them. movie review. Watch that one. Yeah, the they, the they them. Is that movie come out? By the way, they. It them. has come out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Watch that. So Kevin Bacon. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So, but you know that was the intercut. Remember, because the marriage happened. Yeah. And yeah. the weird thing about that particular intercut was Allison is in both, but she can't be in both. Wow. Because she's sitting there with the king, and remember he falls, and she goes and protects. But it's like, wait a minute, how can you be there and then also in Werewood? So timing-wise, the editor screwed that whole thing up. Hmm. Because it's like, you can't be go back places and watch at that. the same time. But, you know, maybe what they're doing is, they're sh I don't know, they're taking director's license to show at the very yeah. end they still had the wedding. Right. And then, but they're cutting it back and right. forth. I don't know. The point of it was, is it started to make it, you think that Kristen was going to go out and kill himself while the wedding was happening, which emotionally is potent. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, Allison's show is in both locations. So that means the timing is completely off. Yeah. So you don't know, is that before this or whole, after? This whole show plays with timing. Yeah. Like in a weird way, because they're speeding things up. You know, I don't know how long it takes to get from King's Landing too high tide, but like it just took a second for them to get back to the red right, keep, right. you know, and they're speeding things up. And then you want to really talk about speeding things up. So as the show ends and they show next week's uh, episode, you watch the extras. Well, I just showed the, the coming previews yeah. and in this, like everybody's like 10, 15 years older. You right. know what I mean? They jumped way ahead. They jumped way ahead, yeah. but well, I thought it was funny that, that they made Lena be much older. Yeah. They brought in the new actress just to kind of, I guess, what, transition for the audience? Like, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. This doesn't look anything like the other one. Because, like, when she was, she was 12 yeah. and introduced to the king, this is what now, like five years past that, maybe? So mm -hmm. she would be 17. She looked much older than 17. Right. I mean, they made a, I don't know. They, they I know it's artistic license, but Rainer looks still young. I mean, because she's been the same actress yeah. the entire time. Yeah. And then they bring in, like, Lena's actress, and it's, like, suddenly from 12 yeah. to 22. Yeah. So, did you see Did you see no. how old Viserys looks in the previews for next week? Oh, I know, His man. hair is thinning. He's got all these like, age spots on his right. head. Oh, my you, God. You know what he... He, he, he looked like... Um, in Big Trouble in Little China. Remember Lo Pan? Like when he was in human form? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that's what he looked like to me. Yeah. I was or like, oh he my looked God. like uh, in Prometheus. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, I forget what that guy Guy Pierce. Yeah. Guy Pierce's character. The bishop. Um, was he, the he, was, bishop. he was Wyland. Wyland. Yeah. 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 So, Something like that. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that was, and that was such a dramatic change in the next episode. Like you were like, you know, up to this point, we've been kind of like consistently, okay, it's the same actors, it's short duration. All of a sudden, it's like, holy shit, we're moving all the way up to 10 years later. I know. So, oh. I mean, well, first of all, since that's kind of the wrap on this episode, uh, what did you think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you find enough start, action in it? No. Well, yes, in the end, I did. Okay. It, it was starting out a little on the slow side there for a while, but once again, they, you know, they pulled it out. They did another, there can be no safe weddings in Game of Thrones world. Yeah. <laughs> well, I you know. Great, I mean, and, and what was interesting, too, there was a lot of political intrigue. There yeah. was a lot of, like, you know, Sir Harwin finally is kind of brought out to show, you know, he's the breaker of bones. He's the bone crusher is yeah. his nickname. Yeah. Um, it was, there was a lot of subtlety in this particular yeah. episode with, um, you know, the L Lena and yeah. Lenor and Rhaenyra and 
Joffrey and Damon jumping in there and killing off. I, I actually kind of thought they should have been a little bit more clear with um, uh, Damon. I mean, because it was, to your point, it was like you had to go back and watch, like, did he do the horse? He didn't. He didn't do it, you know? So it's like, but why play with the audience that way? Oh, the other thing that I noticed, too, speaking about being able to stop things, you know when the drum is playing and they show the guys, like, boo, 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 you know, like a close-up of the drums? Then they show them, and they're not hitting the drums. They're, like, doing this, and you could totally tell they're about this far off the drums. Uh -huh. It's like, what? How do you guys make such a blatantly stupid error? And kind of I don't know. Them, I don't whatever know. Whatever you want to call it. But anyways, what would you think? I liked it. I mean, but I've liked every episode so far. And like even the ones that don't have the action, I know that this is a roller coaster ride and you're going to have highs and lows in, in the action, if you will. So I think that each episode continues the world build. But now I'm really anxious to see in episode six how they're going to do this huge fast forward mm -hmm. and like what that means. You know what I mean? Right, and right. Um, so it looks like just by watching this, uh, like even Aegon, the son, the yeah, two. Aegon's going to make an appearance. He looks now. like he's about 18 now. You know what like, I mean? And, and this is where Alicent and Renera both changed from an actor standpoint. And yeah. they're going to, and it, they already implied those two are going to bat at each other's throats the entire time. So. Yeah. So that's the way it works in yeah. Game of Thrones world. I know House of Dragons world too. Yes, House of Dragons world. So um, that was a good episode. Um, can't wait to see you next week. But I tell you what, Cult Lords viewers, we what want, we want you to be Cult Lords fans. We got to join the cult. And what we need you to do is go down and hit the subscribe button. We what really need for? to get subscribers. We're on our way to a thousand, and. Um, but we can't do it without your help. Mm. Uh, we put out a trailer release every day. We put out a, an episode review of Game of Thrones or House of Dragons every week. And we also put out movie reviews, uh, kind of spotty lately, but we are going to put some out. And then we also put out some special items too that we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so yeah, you'll get lots of content if you just subscribe. And then hit like. We always need to get to double-digit likes. That helps the algorithms. Please. So more people can see us. And then comment. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Let us know. Do a cleanup if you need to of what we got right, what we got wrong. Uh, I know I probably went from Rhaenyra's to Rhaenyra to Rhaenyra's to Rhaenyra <laughs> ten times in this. Uh, or I me swear. with Lanor and Lena. Yeah. So, yeah. R.R. R. Martin with his name. Yeah. I like those northern names like Ned Stark and, you know, Why can't they John name Stark? everyone J.R. and Dane? Yeah. I don't know. Come on, Dane Eris. J. Aricus. What, uh, what would you like your name to be? I don't know. No? J. Articus. I don't know. Articus. Like Spartacus. J. Yeah, Articus. J. You would like that, J. Articus. Uh, well, anyways, uh, let us know in the comments, you know, what you thought. Uh, do some house cleanup. Let us know what we got right and wrong. And, you know, I guess we will see you next week when we do episode six and we get to see mm. all, all of our kids growing up. <sighs> oh, what a sweet time this will be. Please. It'll be sad. So sentimental. Will anybody leave the nest? Will there be another death? Has uh, Lenor lose more eyeballs? Has Lenor found a replacement for Joffrey? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so, Allison's gonna rip everyone's head off. Yeah. Viserys is gonna lose what a couple more digits. Yeah. Gonna get a leech bath. Yeah, gonna get some. Ooh, some things uh, just never change, but. Yeah. So Dane. I don't know where are we gonna end this. Put your arm around me. Oh, okay. We light the way. <laughs> we light the dragon. We light the world to make a better place. So let's stop nagging. All right. Woohoo! Peace how, out, everybody. See how bad at singing we are. Sorry. <laughs> Say your peace out. I said peace out already. I think it needs let's another one. Let's end this thing. Oh wait. We have some more guests, some late arrivers. What? <laughs>